This video will cover the basics of managing CVX program files like adding, deleting, and changing programs. All the program management items can be accessed by clicking the menu at the top left of the screen, as you can see here. If the system is in run mode, the only option available is to change which program is currently running and to save the settings. To change to another program on the controller, just simply select Change Programs. A list of programs that are currently saved on SD1 and SD2, if you're using it, will be displayed. The program number can be seen, as well as the name of the program. To change to a program, select the, select the desired program and click OK. The program will be loaded and ready to run. If you want to add a new program or perform more options with program management, you need to be in setup mode. In setup mode, click the left upper menu again to access these functions. If you want to change which program you're currently editing, just simply click Change Programs. Again, the list of programs that are available on SD1 and SD2 will be displayed. Select the program that you want to switch to, click OK. Now, and now you can edit that program. To add a new program, simply click the upper left menu again and click Add New. The Add New Program menu will be displayed. The first step is to select which camera type that you'll be using. For most applications, the Area Camera option will be selected. If you have the 21 megapixel camera or the LJV Laser Profiler, you would select those types as needed. The next step will be to select what type of program that you will be using. For most applications, the generic program setting will be selected. There is also a special connector setting program, and if you're doing vision guided robotics, you would choose that type if needed. Next, select which SD card the program should be saved to. You can save programs on the included SD1 card or the optional SD2 card. Up to 1,000 programs can be saved on each SD card, assuming space allows. As a default, the system will select the next available program number according to which SD card you have selected. You can change the program number as desired by clicking on that field. The default program name will be new, followed by the program number. To change the name, just simply click on that field and enter the desired name. Click OK and it will have the new name. When you are adding a new program, the most current version firmware that you're running on the controller will be automatically selected. If you desire to make a program in an earlier version, simply select the version number from the drop-down menu. You can also view the used and available space on each SD card in this menu. When you're ready, click Execute. The program will be added and ready for editing. If you want to make a copy of one of your program settings, just simply click the upper left menu and select Copy from this menu. First, pick the source program, in other words, the program that you would like to copy from the list and click OK. And then choose where you want to save it to. You can save it to the SD1 card or SD2 card if you're using it. The next available program number will automatically be selected and you can change that as needed. The name of the program will remain the same unless you click here and change that field as well. Uh, when you're ready to copy, just go ahead and click Execute. The program settings will be copied and it will give you an option if you want to switch to the newly copied program right now or stay with the current program that you have. If you want to switch to the newly copied program, just simply click Yes and it will change to that program and you can edit the program. If you want to delete one of your program settings, just simply select Delete from the top left menu here. Target is the program that you'd like to delete, so select that from the list. It cannot be the one that's currently running on the controller, so switch off of that if that's the one you want to delete. So select it, click OK, and when you want to delete, just simply click the Delete button. It'll give you one last confirmation. If you're OK with that, just click OK, and the program will be deleted from the controller. If you want to edit the names of any of the programs that currently reside on the SD cards, just simply select Edit Name from the upper left menu. Select the program number that you want to edit the name of from the list, and then click the Edit button. Then you can freely edit the name of the program, and click OK, and then you have just changed the name of the program. 
If you've updated your firmware on the CVX controller or are running a program of an older version than the firmware, the version number will be displayed next to the program number, as you can see here. If this is not displayed, the current program is updated to the latest firmware. You can update the program at any time, again by clicking the upper left menu and clicking on Update Version Program Setting. It will update the current program to the latest firmware version on the controller. You can also convert a program to the LJV type if you have a previous program that was for area camera or 21 megapixel type as needed.